pop 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 God is an American. I still love words. When we make love in the morning, your skin damp from a shower, the day calms. Schadenfreude may be the best way to describe the covering of adulthood, the powdered sugar on a black shirt. I am alone now on the top floor, pulled by obsession, the ink on my fingers. Sometimes what I feel has a difficult name. Sometimes it is like the world before America, the kinship of fools and guardians, of hooligans, the dreams of mothers with no children. A word can be the boot print in a square of fresh cement and the glaze of morning. Your response to my kiss is, I have a cavity. I am in love with incompletion. I am clinging to your moorings. Yes, I have a pretty good idea what beauty is. It survives all right. It aches like an open book. It makes it difficult to live. The Mother by Gwendolyn Brooks, 1945, I want to say. Uh, predate so much, you know, the first half of the century. I, I read that poem when I was a, uh, maybe a freshman in college. And, you know, it really is the poem that made me decide that I was going to be a poet. There are all sorts of things in the poem that struck home. Nothing else that I was engaged with, uh, sports or even painting, had quite the effect. So I thought, I'm going to be a poet. Abortions will not let you forget you remember the children you got that you did not get, the small, damp pulse with little or no hair, the small hands that never handled the air, and it moves on. I think that's about the first stanza of it. That's the mother. Yeah. Pop. <laughs>